nice to be able to hang on to the warm weather a little while longer. In fact, yesterday, temperature climbed all the way up to 95 in St. George. It was 89 in Salt Lake City. And you can see by the almanac that put us almost 10 degrees above average for this time of year. Our record today is 95, so obviously it can get hot uh, at this point in December, but that's not in the forecast for the next several days as we'll get a cold storm making its way in. But this morning out ahead of that, we're off to a very mild start in Salt Lake City. It's 68 degrees. Most valleys are in the 50s and 60s. In St. George, you're starting out at 70. And even though we had some of the showers and thunderstorms over central and northern Utah yesterday, those lifted north and have tapered off. So we've got a dry start to the day, but it won't end that way. The green on the map indicates a strong storm over northern California. Add ahead of that, we get a southerly flow today and some gusty winds from that direction will be uh, pretty likely across some parts of the state, which will help to warm us up. And then the storm itself will be sliding through along with the cold front tomorrow, and that'll knock the temperature down, bring water widespread wet weather. Today, it'll be partly cloudy in Salt Lake City with our temperature climbing up to 83. So not quite as warm as yesterday, but still out ahead of the storm, pretty mild. Low 70s in Park City, you make it up to 87 in Moab, as well as St. George. Now it looks like it'll stay fairly dry over southwest Utah. Isolated showers and thunderstorms are possible, but as the storm approaches, it's really over northern and eastern Utah where we're going to get the better chance of some of the showers and thunderstorms, which of course could bring some heavy rain at times, and uh, those will even be lingering uh, overnight. In fact, rain becomes most likely later tonight across northern Utah. In St. George, it'll be partly cloudy, breezy tomorrow, sunny and behind the cold front that moves through, your temperature will drop into the upper 70s. And then you'll hover near 80 for most of the work week. A few showers possible again on Thursday, but sunny and starting to warm up a little bit heading into the weekend. And in Salt Lake City, a big change tomorrow. Temperature is going to be dropping uh, as much as 15 or more degrees lower than what we're expecting this afternoon. Rain will be likely along with the possibility of isolated thunderstorms. Uh, we'll still have a chance of some showers off and on for the second half of the week with the temperature hovering near 70. But then we'll dry out over the weekend, but only warm up into the low 70s by then.